Hey YouTube, Adi Furkan here and today we are going to check out uh, the difference between climate control, no better, air conditioning on and off. Uh, I made a route, the Amsterdam ring uh, test route, we'll explain it under the video how that is etc. But for this test, this is the route, I will uh, lap it twice and each lap is uh, around 32 kilometers. So for each try I will drive 64 kilometers uh, with AC and without AC. The only difference uh, I'm going to make is uh, with AC off I'm going to close the sunshade because it's getting extremely hot in the car because of the panorama and I'm going to try it uh, to survive 64 kilometers. So um, why is this important? Uh, currently my car is running and let's see my car is running and car is running AC is on and my current consumption is 1000 kilowatt it was just two some moments ago maybe it's uh, ramping up right now but when I started this car Six months ago, it was uh, using three kilowatts when standing still. It's still not, not the eight kilowatts of, or nine kilowatts we saw uh, in the winter for heating the battery up, but two, three kilowatts uh, for AC for the interior is also huge. Um, yeah, think, think about uh, spending 1.5 kilowatt hour uh, energy in an hour kilowatt hour and that's uh, a huge percentage look 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 we are climbing up so let's do this test and uh, let's start first two laps will be with AC on and sunshade open and the second test I will count it down and then we will uh, do the uh, clim climate control nay, air conditioning off so let's go we are driving on the highway in a ring in Amsterdam A10 West A10 West West side um, driving 85 currently and GPS is that around 82 or something like that and let's start the uh, round here and of course we are driving with AC on on comfort nothing special and yeah I'm driving on 21 inch Norfolk wheels and nothing more actually it's just the car me and the AC on and of course some uh, blinds are on so we are coming to our start point again I'm interested if we will hit 32 just around this bridge and our first round is 60 160 well here we go this is the end of or Grande Loop. Uh, I don't think so. It was this one. I think it was the next one. I just forgot which one I started. But it doesn't matter because our current consumption after two laps, next time I will just uh, make better. But I think it was here is 160 watt hour per kilometer with air conditioning on it's of course uh, uh, rush hour but uh, there was not a traffic jam at all so maybe it's some here and there a bit slow slow down but as you can see if, uh, in our average which is 98 99 kilometers per hour it's uh, all right it's fine you know but we did this round 
64 kilometers, 63, 64, 39 minutes with an average of 98 and our consumption is 160 watt hour per kilometer. So for the second round, we are closing the sunroof, sun, sun, shade. Um, it's going slowly. Uh, I will just stop it right here because it's my GoPro. And let's see. That is perfectly fine. So here we go. So let's the countdown start. First, I'm disabling AC. Uh, this may off. It's off. AC is off. And then we have there 32.8, 32.9. Thirty-three, one. That's our starting point for this test, this round. AC is off. Sunshade is uh, closed as much as possible. And uh, let's do this. I think we will have. Well, what, what we had last time, 160 watt hour per kilometer. I think we will drop five watt hours, so 155 is our number. 155. I really hope the difference isn't that big, so people can just use air conditioning as they like. All right, something to confess. Damn, we are halfway of the first lap. We didn't even pass the 80 km per hour part, but our consumption is currently 152. That's a, almost a reduction of 10 watt hour per kilometer. That is huge. And that is only and only because we are not running air conditioning on. Climate, climate control is on, but AC is off, just for your info. It's not totally off, it's just blowing wind. wind. Uh, I would say it's not cold, but it's a bit of a breeze, cold breeze. So, oh, we dropped 150, amazing. Damn. So that means with current temperature and let's say a speed of 100 km per hour, you can run whoa. Yeah, 500 kilometers. 500. 500 is possible. Easy, at 100. Damn. Didn't expect that. And with AC on, it will be around 475, something like that. But this is a clear 500 kilometer consumption. Damn. We are close to the end of lap one. And this is the line. Consumption is 150. Damn. So the last kilometer and then we will wrap this test up. And then I have some calculations to do then. 32.6, and one. Right here. And 63. Yes, that is 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 600 meters difference. When we hit the one, our consumption was 152 watt hour per kilometer. Well, that is it. Two laps, one with AC on, other with AC off. 
And our conclusion is AC on did consume 160 watt hour per kilometer and AC off did consume 152 watt hour per kilometer. And percentual, that's the difference of 5%. 5%, that's what you can win by not using air conditioning. Uh, ideal conditions, would you use it when it's 25 degrees? Uh, I, I better said, won't you use air conditioning when it's 25 degrees? I will use it. I think around 15, between 15 and 18 degrees Celsius, you don't really need air conditioning and that will be the most optimal consumption figure. But I would say that's a lie because the car gets even better when it's warmer outside, uh, consumption wise. So the values I saw currently, I didn't see with uh, around 15 and 16 degrees. Then it's a bit too cold. The, the battery is just too cold. If I look currently now to my batteries, it's even before when I started, I just checked out. It was 23, 24 degrees. And you don't need to put any energy anymore in the car, uh, in the battery, so it doesn't uh, lose battery capacity, battery power, battery percentage, battery power, yeah. So, I would say thanks for watching. If you did like this video, give a thumbs up, and otherwise I will see you again in my next video. Later!